Hi Scorpio, it's me, it's Julia, here to do your love reading. I hope you're doing fantastic. Thank you for all your love and support for me and the channel. You guys are amazing. And uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'd love to have you here. Um, if you want a live tarot card reading for my psychics or tarot card readers between now and the end of August, you can call up as much as you want using the promo code things are heating up and you'll get your reading discounted every single time there are toll free numbers for the usa uk canada or and india <laughs> and if you want a personal love reading with me you can book it through my website by going to www.heartpassiontarot.com go to products and tarot card readings all those readings are discounted as well um don't forget to hit that like if you enjoyed yourself um, it's a good way to show me some love and support and let other Scorpios get their love messages and know about our channel. I hope you guys are all doing well. Sending you much love and light. And let's get going. I call upon my angels. I call upon the white light to come into this reading for Scorpio. Six of Cups just for I Come into this reading for Scorpio, please. For Scorpio. For Scorpio, why is this inner struggle going on here between you and another individual? I almost feel like Scorpio, you're doing you things the way you want to do them. Your person <laughs> wants you to do it the way they want you to do it. You also, if it's not that, then I think it is the whole because your soulmate is here. Okay, hold on. The king of wands could be feminine or masculine, doesn't matter, right? Because it could be in their masculine energy or their feminine energy. Uh, somebody's got Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries in their chart. I also have Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. In the recent past, we have the three of wands. In the near future, what do we have for my beautiful Scorpios? <laughs> The Nine of Cups. Beautiful. Love it, Scorpio. For Scorpio. For you, the Ten of Wands. You got a lot on your plate. You've been working a lot, right, Scorpio? For your person, the Ace of Pentacles. In your hopes and fears. Ha, <laughs> you. <laughs> Death. And then the outcome. Oh, no, snap. The Two of Cups. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Judgment. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So, there's a decision to make here. Yeah. It's about what is it that you're truly attracted to, what you truly want, what you're truly passionate about. Um, somebody could have Capricorn in their chart as well. But look, you know, we already have the nine down. The ten is showing up. I love it. Okay. Other signs I'm seeing are, yeah, I've already called them out. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Scorpio. You're clearly here. Cancer and Pisces. Okay. So in the recent past, we have the three of wands. Why is the three of wands here? Why is the three of wands here? The knight of swords so I feel this somebody doesn't live close to you um, I also feel that in the recent past the two of you tried to move to move towards one another but I feel it wasn't the right time I feel you had some healing to do they had some healing to do um, we have the uh, knight of wands so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius could be in your chart or their chart. Maybe Sagittarius, right? Tell me about this Three of Wands, please. Maybe somebody was coming into your life and slipping out of your life. Scorpio, like you guys were on one minute, then you were off. You know what I mean? That kind of energy. Okay. But clearly somebody here wants it, wanted a victory. But things were, somebody was, you know, somebody needed to wait. Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. 
Okay. Things kind of went in a standstill for a moment there. Because there was other stuff going on. Not because um, I feel the two of you had any kind of problems with each other. It's just life situations. Things that were going on. Things that were um, taking priority at the time. The Nine of Pentacles, that clearly is a pre-empress. It also could be a Virgo. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? The lovers, the chariot. So you're, this person is now ready uh, to move forward in love with you. It's like they finally realized, right, that you're the one. I see stability. I see building stability together. I'm even seeing that um, Scorpio, this person may want something long-standing with you or even marry you. They know you're the one now. The Nine of Pentacles, why is it here in the now? Look at that. That's two threes. I see a reconciliation. Now, some readers say, oh, that's a third party. No, that's not a third party. Anybody can look up what the Three of Cups is and the Three of Pentacles. It's not a third party. Third party is when the Three of Swords show up. Okay? And that also could be heartache. So there's no third party here. The two of you want commitment from one another. And I see the happiness. I see celebration here. I could. I even see a wedding. The Queen of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. So this person is very independent. Um, but I'm seeing that the two of you are heading in this direction in the future. Oh, well, in the now. There's already talks about coming together, right? But I see, I foresee it later on. The King of Wands, why is the King of Wands here? In the hidden position. Uh-huh. So I feel here, either you or your person, I feel like it's your person, Scorpio, has really put an end to all the betrayal, all the pain from the past. And now this person can release this and truly move into what's meant for them, their future. The King of Wands, why is it here? The Page of Wands, beautiful. So it talks about wanting a new beginning. The King of Wands. The Four of Cups. So there needs to be... This person is waiting. There's clear communication, honest communication between you and this person. Now this could be you, you know, as well. It could be your energy. All right, but we see, wow, beautiful cards, the victory with the Six of Wands. We see the Page of Cups. We see the King of Cups. <laughs> nice. We see this King of Cups coming towards you here, making a decision to work on this connection and to have this big love between the two of you. I feel the two of you are soulmates, okay? It's just because it showed up in the beginning. The Nine of Cups, please. Why is the Nine of Cups here in the near future? I love this reading. It's beautiful energy. The Nine of Cups, why is it here for Scorpio? Why is the Nine of Cups here for Scorpio? The Ten of Pentacles. The hangman. So there may, you know, you guys are both each other's wish fulfillment. Um, you guys want to have the Ten of Pentacles together. You know, um, you know, there may have to be a little bit of patience there for that to happen, right? But there's genuine love here. Yeah, you both hold each other close to each other's heart. 
There's no letting go of this connection. It's a brand new chapter starting, and you know it, and they know it. I feel you both have experienced, you know, really yucky people in the past, and you, neither one of you have the intention to do this to one another. This is your empress. Your empress may be incredibly spiritual here, or emperor. I'm going to take only the cards that turned up. Again, I see the Three of Cups, I see the Knight of Pentacles, and I see the Four of Swords. So there's a get-together, it's taking things nice and slow, healing the situation. Somebody is really stressing in the future about actually if they're going to be offered that cup or not. And I feel, Scorpio, it could be you, could be them. Um, so they feel like they need to be guarded. Maybe because there's been so much <coughs> waiting involved. King of Pentacles. It's almost like Scorpio because you're not reacting quick enough. This person is worried. <laughs> You know, they're starting to think that. What is this? Why is justice here? Hold on. Okay. Everything will be fine. It's just somebody's thoughts here. With the justice card here, there is love here. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, please. It's all in, you know, it looks like um, this person's afraid that they're waiting and waiting and waiting and that you'll never show up, but that's not the case. <laughs> or you may be feeling that. That's not the case. There, There is love here. Okay. And I do see that there's commitment here as well. The Ten of Wands for you, Scorpio. Why is the Ten of Wands here? feel like you just recently are going through a lot or you're just like tired here. You're taking things slowly. You're healing. Okay, you're really excited about having this reunion with your person. They're excited too. The Ten of Wands, please, for Scorpio. Okay, but you're, you're going to get moving. The Ten of Wands for Scorpio, please. Yeah, you're going to move quickly. Okay. You're going to be um, not only with your person, but the two of you are going to be working together, too. We have the Page of Wands, the, the Wheel of Fortune, the Hierophant, which means things are going to be moving into something serious here for you. The Ace of Pentacles for your person. The Ace of Pentacles for your person. The Ten of Pentacles. So this person knows how to bring on the Pentacle. 
That's for sure, Scorpio. I feel like they have financial abundance, right? But they're by themselves. So it's like money they have, right? But there's a lack of passion and love in their life. And they're believing in divine timing here. Okay. Hold on. Okay, so this lack your person is feeling is because they want this brand new beginning, like I said. They want to move forward. All right, they're healing. There's a lot of things that are hidden, okay, as they stare out into the future. They feel stuck. The King of Pentacles with the Queen of Pentacles, that's two of you. Making a decision to work together, to find wish fulfillment together, to fall in love, to be happy, to even get married. Okay. I'm seeing here, Scorpio, once you get together with your person, there's somebody from the past. Um, who may feel a lot of heartache because they did not choose you. Or vice versa, it could be for your person. Like your person that's getting together with you, they have somebody from the past who may be heartbroken because they're gonna see your person with you. Now, somebody also could be heartbroken because um, somebody feels here there's distance. Maybe all this is just an illusion, right? They're all up in their head. But I'm seeing here that um, it's just your thoughts. It's just your fears or their fears, right? Because somebody here is going to find out information and feel very disappointed and they're not going to be able to sleep at night. May even cause an argument between you and a certain individual, Scorpio, could be an ex, but you're still moving forward. Yeah. Somebody's coming right at you, Scorpio. So get ready. Or you're going towards somebody and you're offering that cup. You're telling that knight to go deliver your cup. Okay. So we know how to deal with that. I don't think you would want that person back anyways because they did you dirty. You know what the better choice is for you, Scorpio. Death is here. And the hopes and fears. Why is death here? For Scorpio, death is clarified by you making a decision to go forward. 
with the Knight of Cups, with the Page of Wands and the Ace of Cups, Scorpio. For this brand new beginning, two Aces, Virgo. I mean Scorpio. <laughs> It's all about having, oh, okay, hold on. Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Pentacles, Temperance. Okay, there's been some things that have been hidden from you, not from your person, I feel. Maybe about somebody you were waiting for um, from the from a distance, could be even a friend. You feel betrayed here. Maybe this person couldn't come visit you, Scorpio, because they just don't have enough. Okay. Um, it's all about having patience here and being strong. Uh, the Hermit is here, so you could be very well dealing with the Virgo. But I see celebration, union. I see the fool here. Okay? So you will be taking a leap of faith when it comes to love. Now, we have the two of cups. That's soulmate energy. That's love. Both of you are willing to give an equal cup to one another, which is very important. The two of cups. Two of Cups. So someone's making a decision here, could be both of you, to forget about any past pain, move into the sun, have this reunion, right? Get some clarity about what you want to do there, okay? And then move forward. Somebody traveling to the other one in the near future or moving forward, something uh, gets stuck for a moment. Why is that? Uh -huh. Could be a trip. Somebody has to travel to see the other one. still see marriage in the future, okay? Travel may get stuck for somebody. Um, there will be, a, somebody will be at crossroads here. Could be an Aquarius, okay? This person is holding on to you, but this person has a tendency to come in and out of your life if you're dealing with an Aquarius. Um, I think they're hiding the fact that they feel all alone in a situation and they may be walking away from you because of fear, maybe because they feel like you're never going to come. I don't know. That's what it looks like here. There's fear here about having a new start. Could be on your behalf or theirs. Or maybe you feel like you don't have enough money. Maybe they have more money than you do. I don't know, I have to read it all kinds of different ways. But I see the knight coming in with the cup for a brand new beginning. And it's happening with this emperor here. 
and it's really going to take strength for the two of you to come together okay but the wheel of fortune is here with the hierophant libra gemini aquarius here the ten of cups it's what you manifested you wanted this new beginning once this happens things are going to start moving really fast for you scorpio the tower is here all right so that's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Sending you much love and many blessings. And um, I'll see you again tomorrow. Love and kisses. Bye.